Richard Hammond. He's good news. Hello. Uh, <laughs> He's always good for news. For over 20 years, he has been taking on a lot of dangerous oh, stunts and pretty risky challenges in shows like Top Gear and The Grand Tour. Yeah, for his next show, Richard uh, may have thought he was leaving all that behind him, but no. By the look of some of these <laughs> stunts, he couldn't have been more wrong. You know, you've really got to admire the cheek of the man. You've got to <laughs> admire the nerve of the man because the only way you would ever see Richard Hammond's big in the one sentence is if you actually owned the company that made the program. <laughs> yeah, it worked. But it worked. It fair works. play to you, mate. Fair I started play with the title and worked backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good title. Yeah, thank you very much. It is a good title. Uh, listen, I looked at those things there, and I don't know how you would describe yourself, how much of a geek you would describe yourself, but it's not really... You just have to be impressed with bigness, don't you? Yeah, I, I, it was a good way into an engineering show. I love making engineering shows, because yes. I love making shows about something. And that, that's when our job is at its best, when you're presenting something that's really interesting. It's not how much I know about it, it's what it is. Um, and big is just a great way into it, because big is compelling. As human beings, we love going... Wow, that's amazing. But what really it is. wow. It's and, overwhelming and only, sometimes. Only yeah. yesterday, uh, this is the sort of thing that really bores Ruth, right? I was looking Among the many at, things. When I was looking at documentary system on, on, on a big sewer system, you didn't like that. A big railway system, yeah. you didn't like that. I was sitting in the car yesterday and a big airplane, massive, it must have been an A380 or something, massive. And it was just flying, and I just wanted, and I thought, I'm not even going to bother saying this, you'll not appreciate it. But the airplanes, those, those American airplanes, though, tell me about, they were wow. That was the C5 Super Galaxy. It's the biggest serving freight plane, cargo plane in the, the US military. And it's colossal. Mm. Um, it can carry anything, helicopters, planes, I think about 15 Humvees in it. It's, it's an astonishing piece of kit. And the, the show depends on access. And that's you know, what they'll let us do. So they let us be on the flight deck, we saw a clip there, yeah. when it's air-to-air -air refuelling. So that's two of these beasts yeah, but it's, it's, side by so side. So there's another one above, full of fuel, and then we're flying up to and, and the lady flying it, that's manual. That's not an autopilot. And the finesse at the controls to do that is just mind -blowing. That's like and making love. 40,000 feet up <laughs> at 500 mile an hour. I'm really. going to have to take your word for it. But... <laughs> OK. Were you, were you scared at any point? Well, yes. Yeah. The thing is, I miscalculated a bit because um, I soon discovered, of course, big often also means high. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not brilliant with heights. Yes. I used to be as a kid. Um, I, I would always be walking along the edge of the cliff looking over. I'd never bothered by heights. But then when I had children, it was about shortly after my first daughter was born, I was really? doing a piece, talking to a camera, standing on top of a tower by a river. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, wait a minute, I'm scared. And from that moment on, I became scared of heights. Um, so that wasn't ideal. So why did you agree to go up the Burj Khalifa and I'm, I'm not the highest very, building I'm, in the world? I'm not very bright. I lack <laughs> the imagination to see what might be waiting for me. Because it's an incredible building. The Burj Khalifa is, get this, it's 862 metres tall, tallest building mm. in the world. And it stands on sand. Yes, but it's, it's not on rock. It's an incredible it's building on from the ground. Yeah, looking up. Yeah, that's I don't. You see, I remember seeing that Mission Impossible film with Tom Cruise yes. at the top of there, who apparently is the only other person outside yeah. you. Yeah, it's 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 for diminutive celebrities on <laughs> the screens, large yeah. and small. Um, it's screen. me and Tom have been to the very very top. So that's you go to the the, the viewing platform, mm -hmm. which is incredible, but then you keep you have to climb up inside this sort of pipe tube and then pop out the top, and it's. But that was so But high. if you're scared of heights, yeah. so when you pop out the top, I mean, that is inc incredibly high. Yes. And then you abseil down. So this was the window. This is to clean windows. Yes, have to, that's we have how to, to clean say, the windows. Yes. To help to clean the windows. I've abseiled once many moons ago for a charity in you know, a small building. But every fibre of your body, when they go, now just lift your foot up and go yeah. over the edge. Yeah. Every fibre you, in your body is going, no. You do see it in the film. I didn't try and hide it. So I didn't try and, oh, I'm not scared. Yeah. I, I shared it. Um, yeah. it's, it's immersive and experiential, so you're scared with me, or not. But, yeah, that moment of swinging out over the edge is... Like, and no. were these all your ideas? Were all these things, places, things you wanted to do, see? Yeah, I want the team, my whole yeah. team. I mean, that, that, that all credit must go to them, because making programmes where, that rely on access, that rely on being given permission to crawl all over and, and more to the point, meet the people that work it, mm -hmm. um, it's difficult. But uh, mm. we went for ones with the best stories, because it's about engineering, and engineering is about people, because yeah. it's things made by people for people. And where did your love of engineering come from? Um, it's always been there. My grandfather on my mother's side, he was a, a, a coach builder. So that's when they made cars out of wood and metal and leather at Mulliners in Birmingham. And 
he had an attic at his place in Birmingham. I used to go up and see him make stuff out of any material. He was incredibly good with his hands. And I suppose it's probably from there. Yeah. And I think engineering is, it is really compelling to human beings. It's about solving problems by making stuff. I mean, I have to say at the moment, it, in some ways, it's kind of a controversial time to be making a show about engineering because inevitably we end up talking about cars and oil and fossil fuels and all of that. But I think it's an important time to be celebrating engineering and engineers because it will be engineering and engineers who get us out of the pickle. Yeah. That's a yeah. fact. Uh, it'll be the next generation of engineers. And if anybody watching thinks, oh, that could be a job for me, mm. great, because they might be the ones that come up with some little yeah. tiny piece of genius that, that, that adjusts things and helps us. Um, talking about adjusting things, um, you turned 50 recently. Oh, please. <laughs> Who said I'm, it? I, it's my first thought on waking. I know. <laughs> this, this woman has sued her company I'm not for sending well. her 50th birthday <laughs> card. You're, you'll be I like saw, that. Yeah, I'm not handling it well. What are you I planning did, to do? <clears throat> uh, Deny it. To, yeah. Well, to mark your 50th. Well, I've long been planning to get a tattoo. I know that's, that's something. And? I have actually done it. Have you? Yeah. Have you where, got where? a part of your anatomy you that we can see? <clears throat> well, I, I'll be honest, I've only just... And I haven't shown Mindy, my wife, yet. <gasps> well, literally just? Yeah. Where literally, is it? I've, I've been meaning it for ages, and I just thought, well, I'm 50, so I'll do it. Does she not want you to have one, then? No, she was all right about it, but I haven't... Where is it, then? Come can on, you show us? let's see I'm it. Show you. I'm going to just... I, you know what? There's no point having a tattoo and not... No, Mindy. not showing. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't show you earlier. Mindy. Mindy. It's... Uh, it's... Still a bit sore, actually. Ow, there's probably blood on my shirt. Ooh. There. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like it. I it was Collector's good. item. Well done. I it was I, would, good. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually think, just say some poor... Do you know, actually, there's a guy got in touch with me with Twitter last week and he's got our faces on either arm, so we asked. For a real. For real. What's to say this isn't That's for it. real? <laughs> well, I would pity you if it, if it was. Um, that really hurt. Whether you're interested in engineering, <laughs> tattoos or anything else, Richard Hammond's big, I'm not sure that's a statement or a question or Wednesday. a statement of ownership, but it is Wednesdays. It's nine o'clock. It's on the Discovery Channel. Can I say something? Yes, what? You want half untidy, you two, in it. Look at no, it. Well, there's no, two no, of us no. sharing a very small table. It used to be neat. That is neat detail. And... That's detail. It's a mess. It's Look at like it. not like you going along up some building and making it up as you go along. Mm -hmm. No, you're making it difficult for the team. Figures. They've got to keep all the cameras have to be above the table <laughs> because it's just record. It's jam, real. It's it? real life. It's shocking. It's represented really? here and it's all information that we <laughs> need. Anyway, it's really nice. It's, it's, really nice it's you're just finished. untidy. You're <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> just untidy. Thank Get you very much. Very nice to see you. And happy birthday. Oh, please. Happy birthday. 50s, no age. Yeah.